Hi, I'm Nadia and this is Robin. Hello. And welcome to Who Moved My Digi Portfolio. So this is the first episode in our series on what's going on in the investing world and how that affects your investments. And today we have one of our Digi Portfolio experts joining us, so you know you're going to be in good hands. Actually, that is one of the most common questions that we receive. Who is behind Digi Portfolio? And now you all have your answers. This gentleman right here, Robin, tell us about yourself. I'm Robin Che. I'm from the discretionary portfolio management team. I've been in the investment industry for the last 25 years. Happy to be here to speak to you today. And I understand that you're one of the original Digi Portfolioers. Yes, so I've been managing it right from the beginning since 2019 uh, when we set up the Digi Portfolio and I've been managing it ever since. There's quite a lot of people involved as well, right? Tell us about who is behind, who else is behind Digi Portfolio. I work with a bigger team which are behind the scenes. It's like the Chief Investment Office team and the Fund Selection team. So my role is to make sure the portfolios are managed according to the investment mandates as well as the client's objectives. So is it just you and a team of robots behind the scenes? But that question is not from me, it's actually from one of our Digi Portfolio customers. No, no, no. The Digi Portfolio is an interface between the bank and the customer. So that is the hard lifting part, the interface with the customers. We invest in a more conventional way uh, with a bunch of uh, smart people in the team. Robin, you invest for others. I'm sure you invest for yourself, right? Do you do it in the same way? Yes, I do. I use a core satellite approach. That this means that I have a stable core portfolio of investments that uh, keep for the long term and uh, some selected smaller satellite investments. So what I do is instead of trying to pick, pick a few big winners, uh, which can also potentially be volatile, I take a systematic approach to spread the risk uh, while seeking potential gains over time. So the key really is to have a diversified portfolio and stay focused for the long term. For example, if you are re uh, investing for retirement. So this means that the investors should focus more on spending time in the market rather than to try and time the market. It might sound quite simple and also very challenging during choppy markets like what we're seeing this year. Uh, in times like these, I focus on the fundamentals and practice dollar cost averaging for my core investments. Can you explain more about dollar cost averaging? Dollar cost averaging is uh, simply spreading out your investment dollar by investing in uh, regular intervals at fixed amounts. So no matter what the conditions are like, you try and average uh, your cost over time. I see. And Robin, you sure sound like you spend a lot of time crunching numbers, crunching data. What do you get up to when you're not investing? Well, I enjoy reading and uh, I also cycle quite a lot and I enjoy photography. I find that these keep me active and keep me stimulated in my free time. I think that they also teach me to pay uh, more attention to things, you know, like for example, photography is not just the subject matter, but everything around it, the background, the lighting, or even really how it's framed and it's something like investing. Right, that's a very interesting perspective. And before we go, do you have any final words of wisdom? Follow Warren Buffett's quote, which is to be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. What he basically meant was that don't be carried away uh, by greed and fear. Uh, bull markets will come and go, but it will not continue forever. You can always find opportunities to either take profit or to buy at cheaper prices. Wise words indeed. Thank you so much, Robin. And do look out for the next installment of Who Moved My Digi Portfolio. We'll see you then. Thank you very much. Bye. Keep yourselves updated with weekly insights from the investment and financial planning experts at DBS.